Yeah, CBS had to go and put his sash on. Yeah. yeah. It's Menace's birthday <laughs> sash. Menace. Glitter sash. gold. All right, sash. so the countdown to Menace's birthday. We are a mere 11 days and uh, 14 hours uh -huh. away yes. from Menace's big day. But he's celebrating uh -huh. all month long. He's uh -huh. got his wish list up on the Instagram. Yes. At the Woody Show. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's pinned right to the top there, mm -hmm. along with the Judge My Baby, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for your feedback. into. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that in a second. But it's, the, the, the birthday list is up there. Yeah. And uh, I know yesterday you got oh. to check something off. My God. Your your wish list there. Yes. And you got to bring, uh, let's see, you went with Morgan. Hey. Uh -huh. And Vaughn. Yes. And you went to UFC headquarters. Dude. Woo! It was <laughs> lit. It was so lit. it was like going to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Now, yeah. yep. is it my birthday month or Morgan's birthday <laughs> month? Morgan is the biggest UFC fan that yes. I know. Yeah, same. Uh -huh. I'm I'm genuinely convinced it's my birthday month right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, so yeah, the facility massive, super modern, like you could eat off the ground. It's so mm -hmm. clean. Um the Did the you meet Dana White? Well, yeah. Well, we went through the building and then at the end we met Dana White. So <gasps> we go we go to his uh his office which is at the top of the building and it's like half the building. It yeah. is Huge. So like we Dana White comes out and he's like, oh, hey, what's up, guys? And it it didn't even feel weird. It felt like, oh, we already knew Dana. Like we were like old friends. He was mm -hmm. so cool. So uh, accommodating. And he's like, yeah, come in my office. Let's check it out. And the office is huge. And then he goes, oh, yeah. And he goes, yeah, check out this room. So he opens a door and it's like this. He's like, this is my bar. You open it and it's like easily you could fit 100 people in this bar. It is a massive room. And that's like, his office bar. His yeah. office bar, yes. <laughs> Bigger than some people's apartments. So like a yeah. golden tea wow. machine in there. It's <sighs> huge, right? And then he goes, oh, yeah, let's go to the, uh, here's the other door on the other side of the office. And then he goes, yeah, this is my private gym just for me. Again, <laughs> yeah. massive, as big as like the whole gym for the UFC fighters. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Huge. And then he goes, oh, yeah, let's go back to this other door. And then you go back there and he has like uh, like an apartment there. Damn. Because the airport's nearby, so he can like you know quickly change and just yeah. like bounce. And he's like, "Oh yeah, here's uh here's um, my closet." So we go in the closet, and the closet again is as big as somebody's apartment, yeah. and it has like every single Nike shoe you can think of from the floor to the ceiling. Jeez, it's massive. Amazing. Did you cry, Menace? I, no, Morgan's crying like the whole oh, yeah. time <laughs> Dude, because he's like there's... he's just like so cool. He's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's let's he... go check this out. Yeah. He's so cool. There was a moment where I, I'm looking him straight in the eye and I'm starting to tear up. <laughs> and I told him straight up. I told multiple people yesterday. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm just so nervous. This is a big deal for me. And everyone yeah. was so nice and so, like Mena said, accommodating. He's probably like, so psyched when there's like a chick yeah. who's that into it. You know? Genuine. Oh, yeah. Not there's she not, loved, but I mean, it's yeah, obviously way Morgan. more dudes yeah. than, uh, than chicks. Yeah. That's got to be cool and exciting for him. Yeah, because when we're, he asked Morgan, like, oh, like, who did you see in the facility? And then she started naming all the different fighters. And yeah. like, yeah, he got really geeked about that, that she was so into. Oh, and then babe. I'm getting geeked because he's getting geeked. <laughs> <laughs> we're all geeking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, there were so many, like, like, uh, our, our work pieces and then mem memorabilia like um, what was it from the Olympics um, Muhammad Ali like the, the torch the torch right? was yeah. there and they also oh, have wow. um, this cool. huge statue of who was it Menace? but it's from Caesar's Palace and they gave it to Dana White because oh, they were like you gotta stop gambling here yeah he's we'll like, give you a gift <laughs> he's like fine but give me this and they're like okay take it <laughs> <laughs> I think he says he'll yeah. do like 18 hour blackjack sets Dude, yeah he's for millions so yeah. good at gambling yeah, yeah. wow uh, that was just like a small piece of just his office. Like he had like some thing that looked like uh he was like, check out this door. He goes, Yeah, Steve will do it, gave it to me. If you don't know, he's the guy that helped uh start Happy Dad uh beer, but he's like an Instagrammer dude. And it was like it looked like a submarine. It was like some pressurized chamber thing. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was a hyperbaric <laughs> chamber. Yeah, yes. it was crazy. The so, the technology in there was insane. Yeah, the and body the, science stuff. That yeah, they did. and the people yeah. we talked to, the nutritionists, the people that work out with the guys and Damn. girls, like the what they've got going on there is insane. Like, if I wanted to start training yesterday. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So Morgan, as a big super fan, like, yeah. what was the coolest thing? If you had to pick oh, one, God. the coolest thing, oh. besides meeting Dana White, but like, what was the coolest thing you saw? 
the coolest thing I saw, probably just all of the fighters, you know, and oh. they were working so wait, out. Oh, so they're like live there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple. And then she would see them and then she, they would recognize that she knew who they were. Oh. And they're like, they're being cool. And they were like taking stuff out of their gym bag and just Dude, like, here. Yeah. This what? one guy gave, he was like, oh, wait, no, don't leave. And he's like, pulls the shirt out of his bag. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like everyone was so nice. It didn't feel like we were on a tour, you know, and we were just some visitors that they probably have in all the time. Like it really felt like they're a family there and they love it. And now Morgan, I know you yeah. get paid a lot here at the Woody. Show, a lot. <laughs> but wouldn't you want to work there? Oh yeah. And I'm literally, you know, considering flying down every weekend. Like Yeah, because they have like a big press room that she could just yeah. go like do interviews yeah. all the time. And they welcomed her, like, yeah, if you wow. want to come through, do it. Dude, That's cool. Yeah. And and that was just building one too. They're like, Are you guys staying for the Apex? And then Morgan's like uh, almost like shot through the roof. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Okay. And they go, Okay, we'll set you up. So the Apex, just FYI, is like another building next door where they have fights and yeah. then it's where so, their fight nights are that aren't pay-per-views. And then mm -hmm. they have Dana White's Contender Series, which is kind of like fight nights on Tuesday nights. But it's <laughs> all these guys that aren't even in the UFC yet. So they fight in front of Dana and they're hoping to get a contract that night. So we got to go last night to the season finale of that Ooh. and see all these fighters, you know, go crazy yeah, just trying, trying to, to get, get on the deal. roster. Yeah. And, um, and yeah. they put us like ringside and they treat us like yeah. VIPs. That's and cool. They go, and then they ha gave us some like VIP passes for the back. And it's like catered like a <gasps> Vegas style buffet in the back. Yeah. And so, a huge bar. Morgan, does this make up for the uh, the disappointment that was oh. your trip to go see the fights at the Sphere? <laughs> I was telling Minutes yesterday. I was like, I would go back to the Sphere by myself. 20 billion more times <laughs> if it means that I got to do yeah. what I did yesterday. Did, did, uh, did you tell Dana that story? No, no, I didn't, no, no, actually. No, no, no. It didn't come up. Oh, yeah. we didn't even tell you this part. So, and then he goes, and then behind this door is my private kitchen. So we, we open the door, and there's like just two chefs just waiting there at all times. Yep. And wow. they're like, oh, yeah, we'll have them uh, make you lunch. What do you guys want for lunch? He goes, oh, here's the menu for the day. Cheers to Menace's birthday, Mom. <laughs> He's like, grab something from the fridge. I go, uh, yes, sir, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, it is my birthday month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and the then, menu was like lamb chops and all this really nice food. Wow. Yeah. Did, wow. did he talk about us? Does he know the show? Uh, no, no, but we did meet Herb Dean, which is one of my favorite oh, yeah, refs from the, the UFC. The ref, yep. And he did said he say he's going to check out the Woody show. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's Shout awesome. out Herb. That dude's been around forever, yeah. huh? Yeah. Dude, yeah. he's a legend in MMA. So it's like everyone just live there? Because these are all people who, like these fighters and Herb Dean, they're just like chilling all the time? A lot, yeah. of, pe a lot of people live in Vegas. Herb doesn't, but a lot of fighters will come out to prep for their fights But I mean, like at the facility, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah they can it's go there huge. whenever they want and no. they get fed all the everything that's all fine and well and everything but uh i can't believe you guys are glossing over the biggest part of the day was seeing chelsea handler at the airport yes, oh yes we we did. Did. i, forgot yeah, about I mean that. come on it's the chelsea handler and we're guys. like what's chelsea doing here like yeah what do you mean? wouldn't you be flying private like why are you slumming it with us uh is she I mean, like a residency or something i mean like uh, remember when we first met chelsea handler and she's like she told us that uh, she missed her dog, so she flew the dog private. Yeah, but there are certain <laughs> there are certain flights <laughs> there are certain flights that are not worth there, that at yeah. all, unless you have your own plane. Because by mm. the way, to, to charter a plane like that, it's like ten thousand dollars per oh, flight hour. I'm oh aware. My God. Yeah, that's typically what but, that stuff goes for. Is ten thousand per flight yeah, hour. But. Chelsea Handler had Chelsea Handler money. Yeah. I, you know? but, I mean, if it's going to be like a 35 minute flight for her. Yeah. But there's, yeah, yeah, what's even, even that though, it's like there you is can, like semi private uh, sure. planes that you can take. They're uh, sure. like just a little bit more well, she's than just really the flight a, a, that we took. She's, she's a woman of the people. That's you right. know? Yeah. Keeping it real. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. Salt of the earth. Uh, question for Morgan. You posted something yeah. where it you filmed this wall and it said, yep, that's real blood. Where, where was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just, that was a canvas from one of the fights of the Contender series that they had, you know, pulled off the ground and just stuck on the wall. Oh, okay. And it looked cool. You know, it wasn't like the nice art that's around there, but yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> legitimate blood. You know? But yeah, as yeah. a fan, yeah, that's kind of a thing is after the fights, everyone looks at the bottom and like all the blood stains. Some kind, sometimes they're really nasty. Oh, mm. dude, the one fight we went to, this guy just started gushing all oh. over the place. Mm. 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 Crazy. Hell that's, yeah. That's dope. an exciting day. Well, it's oh. 
sounds like it was very exciting for you, Morgan. I'm yeah. very happy I'm, for you. I know congrats. what a big fan you are. I'm an emotional um, mess right now. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Menace gets to uh, check something else off of his birthday list. Yes. Oh, this and sounds like the best one. Yeah. Dude, shout out to the UFC. Shout out to Dana White and the whole team there. Yes. Everyone, so nice. Yeah. It was the best. Well, uh, yeah, I'm glad that worked out. Thanks for having a birthday, Menace. Yeah, yeah no problem. For being born. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Morgan can die happy now. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it sounds really like. Yeah. Menace always says, yeah. run off. Yeah. yeah. All right.